Hey guys, today I will show you how to install multiple WordPress websites in Contable Cloud VPS without cPanel if you want to move to a VPS and not sure, not sure how to install WordPress in it, uh, this video might help you. And of course, VPS is much, much faster than a shared hosting. If you are tired of your shared hosting, and you want to move to VPS, and this is this video is uh, for you. So first, uh, let's sign up for Contable Cloud VPS, and just go to VPS, uh, click Cloud VPS, you can choose uh, this uh, v VPS S. Let's put it in USD so that you can, okay, USD. It's uh, 8.49 per month. You can have multiple, uh, you can host multiple websites. It has, uh, what I like about Contabo is their server is, uh, their server is very, very generous. They have for uh, VCP of course, 8 gigabyte of RAM, and of course an NVMe storage. So I'll just select this one, and okay, uh, here you can choose your term length. If you will choose 12 months, uh, your uh, setup fee is waived, so you you don't have to pay for setup fee. But if you choose six months or uh, down to one month, you uh, you have a uh, set of fee. It, it really depends on if you if you choose one month, you have a bigger uh, set of fee. And here you can choose uh, your uh, location if your users uh, or your uh, readers or viewers uh, is located in the U.S. You can choose United States. Or if it is in Europe, you can choose uh, Germany, and so on and so forth. And here I'll just uh, choose an NVMe storage. It's free, but if you want to choose an SSD, a regular, a regular SSD, uh, you can. You can, but I prefer to have an NVMe storage. It is much faster. And of course, uh, you can choose your um, operating system. Here, I will just choose 22.04. This is an LTS. LTS means long-term support. And you don't need to have this uh, cPanel because it is uh, very expensive. So I'll just choose um, an operating system. Don't worry if you uh, if you'll change your mind, you can reinstall uh, another operating system like Debian, uh, Sent OS, or Alma Linux, and and of course uh, you don't need to uh, check this one because you have an operating system already. We'll not use this free services here. We'll just uh, need to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and of course uh, generate a password copy this one store it in a safe place you need to have a root uh, this is the super user so that you can install uh, applications in your server be sure to store this password because you will need this one and of course I'll just uh, uh, put, put this on default, no private networking, IP address, it's enough, and uh, just leave this add-ons as is. So just click next, and you will be added to the payment section. So here you, you have your uh, uh, payment section here. And just complete this one and you'll uh, proceed next and your email 
uh, sorry, uh, your username and password will be sent to you via email. So, okay, that's it. Okay, now I have uh, signed up for Contabo and be sure to uh, store your uh, credentials in a safe place. It is. Uh, it was sent to you via email and I'll just log into my Contabo Cloud VPS. So this is my uh, Contabo dashboard and go to VPS control. So here I have my server IP address and my server is running and I have a uh, default uh, user, root user. So how do you log into your uh, server? So it we, we need to have a free, we need to install free uh, SSH client like Party, but I'll be using Bitwise. It's a free SSH client. Okay, but uh, say for example you want to have another operating operating system installed in your server, just uh, click this one and, there. and here you can choose uh, um, an operating system you want to install in your server. For example, Debian. The bullseye version or uh, send OS maybe or maybe a free BSD a Unix based BSD and of course if you change your mind you can also almost always uh, go to a Windows server and next this is the most exciting part uh, we'll install cloud panel a free uh, control panel a free alternative to C panel and in order to do that, you need to log, uh, connect to your uh, server via SSH. And this is the process. This is uh, the process on uh, how to install Cloud Panel on, for example, Cloud VPS. And uh, we need to log in as root first and connect to our server via SSH. I will be using Bitvice, it's a free alternative, a uh, free. Uh, SSH client, uh, just go to Bitwise and download Bitwise and uh, install this one on your uh, Windows. Once you install this one, just run your application. Your host will be your server IP address and port is 22. You need to click login. Click uh, username should be root and your password is the one uh, we have generated earlier when signing up with Contabo. Click login. Now we have uh, connected to our server. Just go to new terminal console. Great. Uh, now we need to install Cloud Panel on our server and just go down, scroll down uh we will let, let, let assure that all packages are uh, updated just copy this one and paste it here right click, click. now we'll install cloud panel with this command uh, we'll be using uh, my is called 8.0 instead of MyRDB. If you want MyRDB, just use this one and just input uh, the MyRDB version here. Okay, just copy this one. Uh, right click and click enter.
Okay, finally we have successfully installed Cloud Panel on our server and let's access our uh, server via this uh, address and let's go and just click advanced click uh, accept the risk and continue okay we'll john wayne okay john dot wayne we'll use our email fans We'll use a secure password. I'll just copy this one. Click agree. And I'll just set this one to anything. Australia. Create user. Don't update. That's login. That's John. Main. Enter the password and click login. Now we are here on our Cloud Panel dashboard. And next we will install WordPress just click add site we'll use uh, this one create a wordpress site we'll use some options at the store uh, first wp in contable I'll just uh, use this admin by default click this one uh, you need to generate a secure password and I'll just set, put it now and click create okay and be sure to copy and paste and store this uh, credentials uh, and store it in somewhere safe and just highlight and uh, okay uh, let's log into our let's go back let's, let's log into our uh, WordPress first okay this one this is the uh, control panel for uh, your domain and in order to uh, log into the uh, to log in to this uh, website you need to install an SSL first but let's go to um, SSL just click this one you let's encrypt and be sure to have this um, domain names and uh, be sure to have an A record rather and let's go to our domain register okay now I'm here on my domain register I'll just uh, go to my uh, domain this is my first domain and I'll just click manage and I'm actually using uh, Cloudflare so uh, I'll put the, the Cloudflare's DNS here and let's be sure that we have an air record for uh, the domain this domain and the non www and www so let's log into Cloudflare and I have already created an air record for uh, webshops that store so just click this one DNS and here I have added uh, webshops.store this one and www so if you don't know how to add a record just click and add record choose a record uh, if you uh, want uh, www just type www if not just uh, put add and your server IP address and click save so now we'll just Wait and install because we have already have an an air record. So just create and install.
So the certificate has been installed and let's try to access our uh, website. Okay, now we have installed our first uh, WordPress website in Contabo without a cPanel, but with a free cPanel alternative, the cloud panel. Okay, let's add a new uh, WordPress website. Just click Add Site, create a WordPress site. Here I'll be using my second domain. The second WP in Contable. Okay, I'll just leave the, this as this and just click create. Okay, and be sure to copy copy and paste, store this to a safe place. I'll just go back to sites and I'll just click manage, click uh, SSL and just uh, new let's encrypt certificate. And also I have already added an A record for this domain. Let's go back. This one. I'm using Cloudflare because uh, added security. And I have added an error record for uh, this domain and the, the other uh, WW uh, version. And now let's create an install. Now um, we have successfully installed an SSL for our second uh, domain. Let's access our second uh, domain. Great. So we have installed two uh, WordPress website in Contabo Cloud VPS using Cloud Panel, a free alternative to cPanel. You don't have to pay anything for this just a domain name and a VPS so you have um, installed two uh, WordPress website and you can create more by just adding adding sites in cloud panel and so this is how you will install multiple WordPress website in Contable Cloud VPS without C panel and that's it I hope you learn uh, uh, something new and if you don't want to continue to your slow shared hosting uh, just switch to a VPS I can recommend Contable Cloud VPS because they are uh, they're very cheap and the server has a very generous generous specs so that's it thank you for all for watching and i hope you like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions comment them down below i'll try to, to answer them all thank you for thank you all for watching and i'll see you on my next video